Now we are going to solve our problem number 6 on maximum power transfer theorem. So let us read the problem now. A practical DC source provides 20 kilowatts to a 50 ohms load and 20 kilowatts again to a 200 ohms load. The maximum power that can be drawn from it is. So we are required to find out the maximum power that can be drawn from this practical DC source. After reading the question, we can see that we have two cases. In case number one, in case number one, 20 kilowatts is supplied to 50 ohms load. In case number two, in case number two, 20 kilowatts is supplied to 200 ohms load. Now, if you remember the first lecture on maximum power transfer theorem, there we derived the expression for maximum power when the load is variable. We obtained the maximum power equal to V Th squared divided by 4 times Rth. So if we can calculate Vth and Rth, we will have the maximum power. So let us try to find out Vth and Rth. And first we will consider this case, case number 1 we will consider case number one we will have the thevenin's equivalent circuit vth and rth they are unknown rl is equal to 50 ohms and i will assume current through rl equal to i1 now moving on to the power delivered to the load resistance it is 20 multiplied to 10 power 3 watts we will call it p1 and P1 will be equal to I1 squared multiplied to 50. So this should be equal to current I1 squared multiplied to 50. From here we will have current I1. I1 will be equal to under root 20 multiplied to 10 power 3 in the numerator. And in the denominator we will have 50. Now when you solve it you will have current I1 equal to 20 amperes and when you apply KVL in this loop you will have I1 equal to VTH divided by RTH plus 50. So I1 which is 20 amperes should be equal to VTH divided by RTH plus 50. I will call it equation number 1. So this is all for our case number one. Now we will move on to case number two. VTH and RTH, they are unknown. RL is equal to 200 ohms. I will assume the load current as I2. Moving on to the power delivered, I will call it P2 and it is equal to 20 multiplied to 10 power 3 watts. And this should be equal to I2 squared, I2 squared multiplied to 200. We are following the same steps. From here we will have current I2 equal to under root 20 multiplied to 10 power 3 in the numerator and in the denominator we will have 200. When you solve it, you will have current I2 equal to 10 amperes. Now when you apply KVL in this loop, you will have I2, I2 which is 10 amperes equal to VTH divided by RTH plus 200. From this we will have VTH equal to 10 multiplied to RTH, 10 RTH plus 10 multiplied to 200 giving us 2000. I will call it equation number 2. In equation 1, I will put VTH equal to 10 RTH plus 2000 from equation 2. So we will put VTH from equation number 2 and it will give us 10 RTH plus 2000 divided by RTH plus 50 equal to 20. 
from this we will have RTH RTH will be equal to 100 ohms so in this way we now have RTH now we will focus on finding out VTH I will put RTH equal to 100 ohms here in equation number 2 this will give us VTH equal to 3000 volts so now we have VTH as well so the maximum power that can be drawn from the practical DC source we have P max will be equal to 3000 volts squared divided by 4 multiplied to RTH which is 100 so we have 400 in the denominator when you simplify it you will have P max equal to 22,500 watts or we can write the maximum power will be 22.5 kilowatts this is our answer